the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has dismissed allegations of diversion of palliatives set aside for the poor and vulnerable. The Minister of the State for the FCT, Dr. Ramatu Tijani, while flagging off the distribution of palliatives for the Gwagwalada Area Council of Abuja, says strict modalities have been put in place to frustrate sharp practices. She says reports on social media which claim uh, palli palliatives have been diverted are false, as several organizations have mandated their members to monitor the distribution process. I was able to make my investigation, and on responses, those who have been tweeting, I took some on. And I realized that the people they were alleging, there were some pictures too. We are people diverting from Nigerians who are volunteers, organizations who did not come to FCT, but decided to serve them directly. And you know they do not have our structure. Definitely it will not go easily. The composition of this group is so strong across the 62 area wards of the six area councils of the Federal Capital Territory that it is not possible for all of them to unite with 10 men of the police force, 10 men Nigerian Army, 10 men civil defense, 10 men um, road safety, 10 men VIO, 10 men vigilantes, to all 10 men DSS, to all team together, together with the representative of the CAN, the civil society organization, the youth, the women, the students, all of them together, I want to tell you, cannot unite to divert goods. Well, joining us from Abuja is Plus TV Africa's Abuja Bureau Chief, Amadeen Uyi. Good morning, Amadeen. Good morning, Amaka. Yeah. Amadeen, what do you make of that uh, statement there? Uh, now, when we talk about palliative diversion, we have to really understand the context to which palliatives are being distributed. Now, we have the Federal Capital Territory Administration, the FCT uh, distributing palliatives. We have states distributing palliatives. Then we have the effort of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management, and uh, Development uh, distributing palliatives. Now, uh, I've seen so many, uh, re so many reports on uh, social media talking about palliatives diversion. So let me explain it so that people will really, really understand the context to which this comes. Uh, sometime last week, a coalition of civil society organizations released their report and complained about palliative uh, diversion. Plus TV, the Abuja team had the opportunity to go and speak to them to find out their concerns. And they raised several concerns. First of all, they said that it was being, uh, it was turned to a partisan affair that in the states that uh, politicians were put in charge. And if in your community, politicians are the ones distributing palliatives, then you know for sure that members of the opposition party will not get the palliatives. And also, it is members of that political party that will be giving special treatment. But if you now put it in context with the uh, statement, the FCT uh, Minister of State, Dr. Ramatu Tijani, was speaking in that report. We have followed the FCT distribution team. Thank you, Amadine. Uh, keep safe.